Hey guys, Shane with Kinfolk Farm. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, making some big moves today. <laughs> We're down here at the Bruder House. We're gonna gather all these chicks up that we hatched out a few weeks ago and uh, move them to another pen because we got some other stuff be coming in here pretty soon. We're gonna gather these guys up. I got 31 that I gotta catch real quick. I'm about to burn up. I've been up there with the pigs and uh, here in the state of Georgia, it is smoking hot and super, super humid. Uh, I mean, the sun's just going down, so we just got a few minutes to get these guys moved, and then we'll get to some other cool stuff. And there we go. We got a pile of little chicks, and they're all ready to fly, too, so I really got to watch it. They feathered out really well. They've been in here about three weeks, and they're hungry. Apparently, the tubes are empty. <laughs> We're going to take them over there and give them some food. I already got the water set up. I'm gonna put another feeder in here. I went ahead and just filled this one up, but uh, I'm gonna put another one of these type of feeders in here tomorrow. Right now, I gotta go home and get me something to eat, make my lunch, get ready to work tomorrow. We got our waterer in here. I'm actually gonna just put this, leave this in here for just a short while till I get another one built here. I got another waterer I wanna put up uh, back here permanent uh, because I stole the last one to put it in the quail pen. And I wasn't sure, I, I really didn't know I was gonna make this move until uh, last night. I said, I gotta get these birds over here. But man, it is hot. I swear, I feel like I gotta change shirts uh, every clip of the video. <laughs> Sweating so much. But I think they're really, they're gonna really enjoy being right here with the big chickens because this pen butts right up to the big chicken pen. This is the, the run for our big chicken pen. As you can see, here come the big chickens. But they've been sort of walking in and out, checking them out. So. They'll intermingle really, really well. Those jokers are hungry. As soon as I get out of here, they'll really settle down, but we'll get back out here tomorrow and do a double check on them. Well, let's see what we have in the incubator. This is what we're making all this move for. All these moves we've made, uh, or the move we made, I got one still trying to get out. We're gonna take these out to the brooder house. We have three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I think 19. I had 25 in here, so it's pretty good hatch rate so far. We're gonna get these guys outside and let these others try to come out. There's one trying to come out. I can hear him in there kicking around. Well, we got 19 that we brought into the brooder house. Uh, I went ahead and just dumped their, their little heads in the water, show them where the water's at. I got the feeding tubes filled up. They'll eventually start spreading out and searching things around. They'll, they'll get into their own little groove. Look at that one. They'll get in their own little groove, get to pecking around and doing their little thing like i say i brought 19 out i left two in the incubator they just look like uh they needed a, another day i got one still pipping out most of them are yellow i like that a nice lighter color uh, but i had 19 i brought out i left two uh that needed a little more time in there i got one little gray one right there uh, and i got one that's pipping out and so that's uh 19 20 22 22 chicks uh i don't want to count my chicks before they hatch so right now we got 21 for sure and one hopefully still coming out of the egg <laughs> but they're so cute 
plus the 31 we took out into the yard. So that's a lot of chickens. That is a lot of chickens. I'm super happy with that. These little guys are gonna be our uh, future egg layers. <laughs> They're gonna be our future little egg layers because our population has gotten way, way down, I tell you. We getting picked off by hawks. Uh, I think that's the only thing that's actually really been getting me. I haven't seen any sign of coyotes digging in or uh, nobody's had any, I haven't seen any strange dogs over here. I think it's just most of these hawks. Uh, they they just, they, they really put a beating on our birds because we free range our birds. We let them out and uh, they can do whatever they want. Uh, I do try to just let them out in the afternoons. I, I feel like if I let them out in the mornings, the hawks are just starting to hunt first thing in the morning. If they lock down on some chickens, they're after them. I'm always hoping that they get a squirrel or a rabbit, a rat, a snake, something before they get my chickens and hopefully get their bellies full. So I normally just let my chickens out after I get home from work uh, or on the weekends when I'm home, uh, somewhere in the afternoon, I'll let them out. But look at these little guys. They look great. That last batch, I had a bunch that had that little white spot on their head. They were black with that little white spot on their head. They're going to be cool. I think they're going to be a good looking little birds. Well guys, thank you so much for checking out this little short video. Uh, the chicks in the brooder house are doing fantastic. This is a couple of days uh, since that last clip. Uh, we ended up with 25 chicks in the brooder house and we have 31 that came out of the brooder house and we brought out here into this small pen. Uh, they are looking really, really good. It won't be long. We'll start opening the door and letting them come out into this little yard here. It's fenced in completely. So we'll let them start rambling around out here and coming in at night. And eventually as they get bigger, hopefully they'll start intermingling more with the bigger chickens and end up in the big coop. But they're looking fantastic. A lot of really, a lot of really pretty birds in there. Just really pretty, pretty birds. Hopefully, not a lot of roosters. <laughs> All right, thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. This is a lot of fun. Super hot here in the state of Georgia, uh, but we're getting it done over here at Kenfolk Farm. Finally trying to get our chickens uh, population back up. So far, so good. I wish our chickens were laying more. We're, our, big chickens there we only getting like two eggs a day now so things are really slowed down with the egg production but hopefully in the next few months this maybe towards the fall some of these guys will start kicking in and we can get our eggs back up but thanks again guys love you death we'll see you on the next video